It's one topic most Americans agree on, even as they're politically divided on just about everything else. Background checks for gun purchases. Thank you for joining us. I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Carrie Sharp. And for Rory tonight, just a little about an hour ago, President Biden spoke about an executive order that he signed today to expand those checks. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb takes a look at what it all means. The executive order the president signed today does a lot including one measure designed to increase the number of background checks before gun purchases. Hang out around Royal Range long enough and folks here say you'll find a family. What I really like is the camaraderie of the gun community. Uh, we have a lot of regular customers that come into our shop that thoroughly enjoy uh, shooting firearms and collecting firearms and it's a nice group of people to be around. But what ends up as a family often starts here with a background check. It starts basically we enter the purchaser into the system, uh, we verify all their information is accurate, and from there it progresses to entering the firearm into the system. Royal Range is well versed in performing these kinds of background checks carried out by the TBI. But a new executive order signed by President Biden today seeks to expand those background checks to make sure nearly all sellers do them, including sellers actively skirting the law by not carrying them out or other sellers who simply don't know they need to. In Tennessee, gun dealers themselves are allowed to decline to sell a firearm to anyone for any reason. Well, it's extremely important for us. We do not want to put a firearm in the hands of somebody that we feel is going to be unsafe. Uh, could be a potential danger to themselves or somebody else. The TBI background check can take anywhere from an instantaneous decision to several hours, but it's one the Royal Range says they'll wait for to make sure a gun doesn't get into the wrong hands. We want to ensure that we are legally transferring a firearm to somebody who is legally able to own it. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.